ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு சூசன் அண்ட் ஜான் மேப்டியூப் ஸோ டுடே வி கண்டினியூ வித் த ட்ரிப்பிள் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் ஸோ வி ஹேவ் டூ ட்ரிப்பிள் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் த ஸ்கேலார் ட்ரிப்பிள் ப்ராடக்ட் அண்ட் அனதர் ஒன் இஸ் த வெக்டர் ட்ரிப்பிள் ப்ராடக்ட் அண்ட் இந்த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஐ டோல்ட் யூ ஒன் ட்ரிக் யூ ரைட் த்ரீ வெக்டர்ஸ் ஏ பி சி புட் ஒன் டாட் and one cross according to your convenience so we can write like a dot b cross c or a cross b dot c this will be called the scalar triple product because the output will be a scalar a number and remember if you want to put bracket you should put bracket for the cross product okay now vector triple product means the unique vector a cross b cross c and the bracket is compulsory the bracket should be for b and c in other words if you write a cross b put bracket here and cross c this will not be treated as a vector triple product vector triple product means it should be a cross in brackets b cross c okay the next thing the scalar triple product is denoted by a b c in a box and if the component form do you remember the component form we saw that in the last video it is determinant you write the coefficients of a that is a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 the coefficients of b and finally c1 c2 c3 the coefficients of c okay so let's try one problem based on this okay so are you ready with pen and paper okay let's start so please write if a is equal to 2i minus 3j plus k and vector b i minus j plus 2k and vector c 2i plus j minus k evaluate the scalar triple product directly that means using the definition and also using the formula formula means uh, the determinant method you just saw okay let's go for the direct method so remember direct method means you have two different options because i told you scalar triple product means you write the three vectors a b and c you put one dot one cross according to your convenience and in case you want to use bracket you have to use the bracket for the cross product okay so this is the direct method so we are going to evaluate b cross c now look at this the vectors are given in component form so the cross product is given by the determinant do you remember the determinant yeah the first row will be i j k and the second row the components of b that will be 1 minus 1 2 and the third row will be 2 1 minus 1 so you can expand this i and then it will be 1 minus 2 and then minus j it will be minus 1 minus 4 and plus k it's 1 plus 2 so you end up with minus i plus 5j plus 3k you can confirm it okay so we already have this b cross c now what should we do we to take dot product with a so i'm going to write the scalar triple product is equal to a dot b cross c is equal to what is a a is given here 2i minus 3j plus k 
dot minus i plus 5j plus 3k. If you want, you can distribute uh, the i, the j and k, but the better method will be you just use the ready-made formula which we learned in the last video or you can take your class 11 or 12th book and confirm the formula. So the ready-made formula goes like this. You read the components. So the component on the first vector is 2. The component on the second vector is minus 1. So you multiply them. Put addition symbol. Again, minus 3 into 5. That will be minus 15. Again, addition. 1 into 3. So that gives me minus 14. Okay, now what we do is we go for the formula method. So the formula method to find STP, by the way, we denote STP by box A, B, C. And it is a determinant. What is the component of A? 2 minus 3, 1. Then minus 1, minus 1, 2. And then 2, 1, minus 1. Okay, try it and check whether you are getting the answer minus 14. Okay. Now, one very, 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 very important thing. And they, they ask this question now and then. That is, they will ask you to prove that uh, four vectors, I mean position vectors, that means four points, are coplanar. Or they might ask, prove that the three vectors are coplanar. So first of all, you must remember the fact that STP, the scalar triple product, geometrically means the volume of the parallelly piped. So what's an STP? Geometrically, what does it give? It gives the volume of the parallelly piped. Now, just imagine any three-dimensional surface with zero volume. Come on, just imagine a box without volume. Or just imagine a room without volume. Come on, that won't exist, right? So basically, if you are able to prove that volume equal to zero, then you are proving that that shape has changed into a plane. So if you want to prove coplanar, or if you want to deal with questions related to coplanar in vectors, the method is very, very easy. Find the STP, equate it to zero, and you do a little bit manipulation, you'll be able to find whatever they ask. So let's go for the first question. Prove that the following points, now look at this, they use the word points. Now I told you earlier in the last video, points in vectors are position vectors. Do you remember? In 2D geometry, in 3D geometry, we learned that the two-dimensional plane is made up of infinite number of points. But in vector geometry, we learned that every point corresponds to a position vector. And that position vector is created very, very easily by joining the point with the origin so that the projections will be same as the coordinate. Okay, so the points are 2i plus 3j minus k, i minus 2j plus 3k, 3i plus 4j minus 2k, i minus 6j plus 6k. Now look at this. Uh, one of the most important thing because I have seen many students making mistake with this. So whenever they give you points, what we do is we will convert it into vectors. So the first thing to do is you call the points as A, B, C and D. Now look at this. What we do is we will always fix one vector. Let's say I am going to fix A. And then I will try to find AB 
then AC and then AD so that I'll be able to see the length, breadth and height. This is very very important. You should not take AB, BC, CD as you wish because if you go for AC, AB, BC etc. You might get the STP to be zero and the picture may not be coplanar. So remember the most important point is Whenever they ask a question related to coplanar, so look at this, our job is very, our question is like, prove that the points A, B, C, D lie in a plane. So what did I do? I am going to form the four, uh, three vectors A, B, A, C, A, D. So remember, you should always start with the same vector or you can go for B, A, B, C, B, D. This is very, very important. Then only you will get that length, breadth, height of the parallel pipe. Okay. So tell me, how do you find A, B? A, B will be O, B minus O, A. It's from triangle law. Uh, you can buy heart it. So what will be A, C? It will be O, C minus O, A. And what about A, D? It will be O, D minus O, A. Now look at this. This is the position vector OA because whenever they use the word point but when they give you vector you should understand it is a position vector. And this is our OB and this is our OC and this is our OD. So do a little bit of subtraction and I will give you the answers right away. AB I got the answer minus I minus 5J plus 4K. Confirm it. Put it in the comment session whether the answers are matching or not. AC I plus J minus K and AD minus I minus 9J plus 7K. Yes, I am going to find the STP AB AC AD. You can use direct method or shortcut method. I am going to use the shortcut method that is determinant minus 1 minus 5 4 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 9 7. You can use the calculator to find the determinant or you can do using the classical method but your answer should be 0 because it is a prove that question and if you do not get 0 then there might be some mistake with AB, AC, AD. Or in the worst case scenario, there might be a mistake in the question. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Okay, the next question is very interesting and this is very important also. So they are asking, find the value of the constant. Find the value of the constant delta, they are given small delta, so that the vectors so look at this they didn't use the word points so they are giving the vectors 2i minus j plus k i plus 2j plus 3k 3i plus delta into j plus 5 into k are on the same plane what do you mean by the three vectors are on the same plane. Ah, of course, it means coplanar, same plane. Co stands for the word same. Now, what is the trick? What is the trick? Whenever you have a question related to coplanar, what will you do? Very simple. You find the STP equated to zero. So you can write like this. Since the vectors are on the same plane, the scalar triple product will vanish. Vanish mathematically means the value will be equal to 0. That is STP A B C will be equal to 0. Now how do you evaluate an STP? Determinant either the direct method or the determinant method 2 minus 1 1 1 2 3 3 delta 5 is equal to 0. 
okay now i leave it as the homework please put a comment below the value for delta i'll repeat find the value for delta okay now another question okay please write if the three vectors ci plus j a b i plus a j minus b into k a i plus j plus k are coplanar so they are telling you these three vectors which you see right in front of you are coplanar and they are asking you prove that i will write pp in abbreviated form prove that 1 by a plus 1 by b is equal to 2 divided by c come on this time you have to tell me what will you do whenever they give you questions related to coplanar very simple three vectors are coplanar so what will be the stp zero so you can start like this since the given three vectors are coplanar their stp will be equal to how much zero now the vectors are given in component form so how do you find the stp determinant and that will be determinant c and then one zero second one will be a b a and minus b third one is going to be a one one is equal to zero if you want you can use properties of determinants because it's tempting to use the properties of determinant uh, because you can create a zero here easily or if you don't want to do that expand it so you can put plus minus plus and start so c times what will you get a plus b minus 1 into a b plus a b plus 0 times something will be 0 so c times a plus b is equal to 2 a b that's it now look at this statement prove you are supposed to prove this so what should i do okay i'll divide throughout by a b c so dividing by a b c dividing by a b c so cut 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 so we get a by a b plus b by a b equal to 2 by c that's it so we got 1 by b plus uh, 1 by a is equal to 2 by c so that's it it is a short video so i'll be back with more problems in scalar triple product and vector triple product so till then my friends bye